You know, I thought about putting on some Mickey Mouse slippers and running up and down the aisles of Walmart, but I figured that might give some people PTSD. So, uh, I decided to get it. Hello everybody, I'm Gamerage101 and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. I'm gonna keep continuing this playthrough. I don't- no, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna bother talking to you. Last time we left off, we counted the stairs and turned out that counting up and down differently is... a load of crap. As was expected. No. So now we gotta find the Seven Wonders of Twilight Town, which is really only six, because the stairs were a complete and utter lie. So, let's investigate this very mysterious wall. I wonder what can- <gasps> Yeah, they're balls. It's a pair of balls, actually. Curious, isn't it? This is really easy to deal with. All you gotta do is dodge it. <laughs> Most of these are incredibly easy to deal with. In fact, really all of them are. Ugh! Balls! <laughs> oh, it's just you, Roxas. Were you throwing a ball? Say no! Just say no! I wasn't! It came out of the fucking wall! That ball flew out of nowhere and totally startled me. Hey, I know! This explains one of those seven wonders. No, it doesn't! Okay. Logic just flies out the window at this point in time. Especially since Roxas doesn't say anything. He just says, yeah, sure. Or he, he just kind of shrugs his shoulders and goes, yup. That's what happened. <laughs> it's not what happened. It's not what happened. I'm not crazy. Or maybe, maybe it's just that the players are the only ones seeing it. Ever thought of that? Oh yeah, I need to put my abilities on. I don't really need this yet, but I mean... Okay. I should have put guard on a long time ago, but yeah, whatever. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Uh, ability ring, potion. Hi, Olette. I recall there are f five things to do here, or only four? Oh my god! Sorry. I, I get a little ahead of myself sometimes. Shadow Roxas. They could have done more with this, but they really don't. Then again, this whole place is technically fake, so... Oh wait, spoiler! Shit. Okay, yeah, that actually was... Well, that's not entirely true anyway, so... Oh, yes, I have scan on, so you can actually see their health now. Now. Oh, okay, you're getting really close to killing me. <laughs> that was actually really close to killing me. Rexus! He's number two. Dog Street. You alright? Yeah. <sighs> now that's spooky! I thought I just saw someone, but it was just my reflection. I bet this is behind one of those seven wonders. <laughs> hey, Roxas. Say something! <laughs> Another me? Tell that to Pinks! Sorry, I hate this part of the game. <laughs> Logic flies out the window. I get it, Kingdom Hearts isn't exactly a logical situation. It's a game where you team up with a dog and a duck and go beat monsters up with a giant key, but give me a fucking break! <laughs> Communication is important! Okay. I love this game, but god damn, this part is stupid. <laughs> Alright. This is the only one, this event right here is the only one that kind of makes sense. And, and I, I'd say that as in, it kind of makes sense as in why Roxas doesn't understand what just happened. You'll understand why once I finish the cutscene, but 
You jump on the bag and you just mash triangle. That's all you gotta do. You don't have to time it properly, you just gotta mash. Give it some mashed potatoes. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's such a weird noise. I wonder how they even made that sound. I wonder if they, did, I wonder if they used like an electric keyboard or something to make that sound. That, that would, I'd believe that. Like a really low key uh, key sound of electric key. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking out of my ass. Yikes! It's a puppy. It's a cute little puppy though. Ah, oh, it was just a dog. Did you just let it out of the sack, Roxas? I guess so. Yeah. Bye, doggy. Oh, hi, doggy. Sorry, I just turned into Tommy Wiseau for there for, for a second. This explains one of those seven wonders. See, they're not looking at it. If they had looked over, they would have seen that, but they didn't. So that's the only reason that makes sense, because they didn't look at it. So they didn't know that dog ended up actually being one of those white things. Ugh. <laughs> I, I, I approve of that one, okay? Oh, another one that kind of makes sense is this one upcoming right here. Looks iffy in there. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Also, sorry about all the sniffles I'm having during uh, these first couple of parts. Uh, uh, when I don't get enough sleep, this, this happens to me. Vivi? Oh! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, sorry. I love how Vivi's hat is a face. <laughs> okay. This port's actually a little... A little dicey. You only gotta hit him once. That's the, that's the thing about it. Whoop! Ow! So... You just gotta beat all the VVs. I think these are the last four. Uh, yep, okay. That wasn't too bad. Can be a little dicey, but it's not too difficult. This one is also kind of okay. It's still kind of like, no, stop, but... What is it, Roxas? Oh, did you need this, Roxas? Planning on getting some practice in, I bet. Or getting in some practice, whatever. But, 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 no, it's just, there were so many of you. Huh? So many of me? I don't get it. Anyway, I'm done with this, Roxas. You can take your time. Goodbye. Whoop, 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 whoop. So the mystery voice was just VV practicing. Listen, there were a whole bunch of VV clones in here just a minute ago. See, that, that's what you should be doing! Explaining yourself! But then again, then again, watch what happens. And then you don't, un, like, Pence has no reaction. You know, that last wonder wasn't exactly wonder. Are you nuts? You just fought a bunch of VV clones! Okay. But this next one's gonna be really great. Wonder number six. We got another lead. The ghost train mystery. Oh boy. Everybody knows about wonder number six. Yeah, well I didn't. Did you find out where the train runs? You can see it from Sunset Hill. All right, let's go to Sunset Hill. This, maybe I won't actually be driven crazy by this game just yet. We'll see, though. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm already gone kind of a little bit off the deep end there earlier when I was screaming at them to communicate, but... Uh, yeah, aside from that, I don't think I've gone off the deep end just yet. I just got on the high dive is all that happened. I didn't jump off yet. All right, let's look at this stupid fucking train. It'll be here any minute. Or they say the train is empty. Mm -hmm. No driver, mm -hmm. no conductor, mm -hmm. no passengers, mm -hmm. no return. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, 
Yeah, also I want you to keep in mind these first four episodes are all recorded in one session. So if you're in episode one screaming at me... We gotta make it to the beach next year. Yeah, we better get jobs the second vacation starts. Good afternoon, slackers. What are you doing out here? What do you care? I don't. Tell me anyway. <laughs> I like that response. We're waiting for the ghost train. Waiting for the ghost train. <laughs> Why does looking at you always tick me off? I don't know. Maybe it's destiny. Destiny? In that case, let's be friends. I don't feel like cooperating with destiny. Dick. When have you ever cooperated with anything? Uh, good point. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how I see I that. Are? I know. Tomorrow. Look. It's really true. And there's really no one aboard. What's the catch? There's gotta be a catch, right? Then it's real? Let's go to the station. Let's go in. What? Um, you'll get hurt. Huh? No, you'll the get killed. A There's a difference, shortly. Hainer. Well, okay, that was going a little slow. You would have got messed up pretty bad, but maybe not killed. Come on. A train came from the beach. There was no driver, right? Let's go. Right? <laughs> Let's go home and work on the paper. The rumors were bogus. The end. We can still make it sound good if we write about all the work we did. Sure. But what about the last one? The seventh wonder? Who cares? I do. Come on, Pence. Whatever. Roxas. It's at that haunted mansion. Alright, let's go to the haunted mansion then. Depending on where this ends up, I might cut this episode a little short, but if I if I do that then I'll probably try to make up for it by uploading a second video for the day of this video's release, which will be, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't, I, I don't know. Probably a few days from now. Also, uh, what I was trying to say earlier was, um, I'm recording this in the same session as the previous, like, four episodes, I think. Or if the, wait, I think this is the fourth one. So yeah, the previous three. So what that means is... Me talking during the cutscenes is all kind of in the same thing. So if people are screaming at me in the first episode to stop talking during cutscenes, uh, I will stop. But up until this point, I'm going to have been doing it. So it's, it won't be because I'm not listening. It'll be because I uh, pre-recorded. So. Sorry! You know something? Whoa. We were going to check the mansion out tomorrow. I know some people don't mind it. it that's why. Suspicious place. But some people right. do. And because there's subtitles, I feel like it's not as big a deal, but if you... Even Cypher's gang was gonna help. If you... Cypher? Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> yeah, Hainer asked him to. My point's been made. Oh, hi, Naminé. So, what are we looking for? Well, they say there's a girl who appears at the second floor window, even though no one's lived here for years.
Roxas. Ramane? This is me? And Axel's here too. You are best friends. Very funny. Don't you want to know the truth? About who you really are? No one knows me better than me. Of course. But I don't get what's been happening lately. You know these three, don't you? Yeah. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. They're from the dreams. About a year ago, some things happened. And I had to take apart the memories chained together in Sora's heart. But now, I'm putting them all back exactly the way they were. It's taken me a long time, but pretty soon, Sora will be his old self again. The process has been affecting you too, Roxas. You mean the dreams? Yes. You and Sora are connected. And in order for Sora to become completely whole again, he needs you. Me? What for? You hold half of what he is. He needs you, Roxas. Namine? Namine. Who are you? I'm a witch with power over Sora's memories and those around him. A witch? That's what Diz called me. But I don't know why I have this power. I just do. I'm not even sure there's a right way for me to use it. Hmm. I can't help you there. It's funny. Suddenly, I, I feel like I don't know myself at all. I guess I would like to know. What do you know about me? that I don't. You... You were never supposed to exist, Roxas. What? How could you even say such a thing? Even if it were true? I'm sorry. I guess some things really are better left unsaid. Roxas! Roxas! Huh? Did you see her? Yeah. Watch the window. Closely. Ah, oh, lame. That's just the curtains moving. There must be a draft somewhere. I'm surprised this old place even has curtains. Yeah. Well, let's head back to the usual spot. Hainer and Olette are waiting. Hey guys, how'd it go? The girl in the window turned out to be a curtain flapping in the wind. I figured as much. The report's already done. All right. So, wanna go find Hainer? He's probably at the station. You know, we only have two more days together. Huh? Summer vacation, remember? <laughs> oh. oh yeah, I thought, I thought you meant I was gonna die. Oh, anyway. Tomorrow, we search the town. Next day's the fair. The last day of summer. Don't say that. You'll give me an ulcer. Not if you explode from all that ice cream first. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Why did you show him the train? Because he missed the trip to the beach. Hmm. That's almost kind of you. No. What about you? Are the holes in your memory starting to fill in? Yes. The haze is clearing. The same thing is happening to everyone who had ties to Sora. Very soon, to them, he'd be like a good friend who's gone away for a year. I've waited, and now I want to know. What is it that you want? Revenge. Revenge? Now, for the finishing touches. First, we must dispose of Namine. She did a splendid job with Sora, but it's high time she disappeared. Roxas isn't the only one who was never meant to exist. Take care of it, Ansem. Restoration at 97%. Is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place, and to us? All worlds begin in darkness, and all so end. The heart is no different. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true! The heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in. But I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. Kingdom Hearts! Fill me with the power of darkness! I'm sorry, that reminded me of something a friend did a You're while wrong. ago. I know now, without a doubt, Kingdom Hearts is light! Sora, let's close this door for good. Take care of her. We've got to find Riku and King Mickey. But, uh, where do we start looking for that there door to the light? Pure dark. Uh -huh. Gorge, that's the king's seal. Hey, have you seen King Mickey? Let's go. Yeah, this shows some final mix only stuff here, which is interesting. I've been to see him. He looks a lot like you. Who are you?
have the Keyblade? Shut up! I, I like the interesting detail there that it's very clearly his shoes that are just huge and not his feet. Man, I could not sleep last night. Guys? Huh? Oh man, things are about to get real. Yeah, the game is very cutscene heavy in the beginning of the game. However, that is also where I'm going to end up cutting this one short by a few minutes. Because the rest of the game, or rest of the prologue to this game, which we're still in the prologue by the way, <laughs> is pretty... I'd say it's a little bit lengthier than the next couple minutes. So, we're going to go ahead and do a quick save here. And this is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And one other thing, uh, before I actually end it off, if you're still watching, is if you want me to up the volume of the cutscenes and not talk over them, uh, let me know. Because if you decide to, if you if people tell me to stop talking during cutscenes, I'm just going to turn the volume of the cutscenes up during cutscenes, and then turn it back down so you can hear my voice as long along with the game. So. I'll adjust that accordingly, but thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Okay, bye! I also have spiky hair.